Hey baby dolls, oh my gosh, guys, today is literally so special because you know how I was complaining about how I could never find Fufu? Well, guess what I just found? Literally Fufu. I got peanut and chicken soup. This is it. I should have opened this earlier. Oh, honey. Mmm, I love peanut soup. This just looks really good. It looks kind of oily, but honey, we love the oils. That's why my skin looks so shiny and hydrated. This is I eat oil. I don't just eat oil, but like, you know. You know that um, Selena Gomez says that she drinks a tablespoon of olive oil um, to like help her throat or whatever be like oily? Okay, let's see. Mmm. Honey, that's delicious. Shoddy, that's... Oh my gosh, that is so good. It's a little bit spicy. Um, oh. And this is the fufu. Mm. That's nice, perfect. I don't know, I don't really know what I'm supposed to... I'm guessing I'm gonna unwrap it. I washed my hands because I know I'm supposed to be using my hands to eat this. But I'm kind of scared about having my nails on because like but I got plantains too because like I don't know I feel like I'm not gonna be able to shape it right also just letting y'all know I'm probably gonna chew it I know you're not supposed to chew it but like I just can't mmm you're so good mmm I know they look burnt if you haven't had plantains before. Honestly, this piece might be a little bit burnt. No. This couple of plantains have natural sugar in them. And whenever you cook it, it kind of burns, you know? But that's part of the flavor, honey. Mmm. Mmm. And I got a tamarind drink. I'm gonna have to. Use my fork to. Uh, my knife. Oh, boom. Mm -mm. I just got off of work, so my makeup is not like killing right now. Guys, today we're just we're just relaxing. It's casual Friday, okay? My hair is low key already crooked, like. Mm. I should have shaken this up. Oh, but that's so good. Mm. Okay, guys, let's try the fufu. Fufu lame. It's ever watched um, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, where they're like, "You a fufu lame?" Well, this is literally fufu. And uh, my friends in high school used to call me Fifi lame, cause like you know, my name's Fifi. And I was like, I didn't really watch Sunny. Oh, it's like me in Philadelphia that much. So I was like, guys, quit calling me lame. And then I realized it's like a, a joke at my expense, but it's like, it's still funny, you know? Your friends are supposed to like come up with stuff like that. Okay, this is kind of an annoying one. What am I supposed to do? The plastic wrap is like melted low key. Am I going to be ingesting microplastics? Whenever I do my, um, what do you call it, like, the part where you, like, when I type out my handle, I'm gonna write chicken peanut soup with plantains, tamarind, and plastic. Plastic wrap. Ugh, this is so annoying. I guess they have to do it like this, though, <laughs> to maintain the shape. But, like, can I just get to the freaking fufu already? Bah. Okay, there we go. Ooh, there we go. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm so, I'm so, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, so I just, like, take it like this. Okay, yeah. That's a huge chunk. Let me do a little bit less. And then, oh, ball it up. Oh, guys, this is a this is an experience. I've never had fufu before. Mm. It took me forever to open it. If you guys watched, if you guys like 
stayed with me while I opened that up. Your real one. Yeah, look, it's falling the more as I speak. Okay, so it's kind of balled up. Let's see. Dip it in the soup. Mmm. Mmm. Mother. That's so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I knew I was gonna love it. Oh. There's, okay, there's huge pieces of chicken in here, but I'm kind of just liking them. I kind of want to just try this a little bit by itself. Just to see. Mm. It kind of reminds me of tamale. Like, if you guys ever have a tamale, it's like... I said tamale. It reminds me of tamale. It's like... You ever had a tamale and it's like the... Corn flour, the... They use corn flour for them. It reminds me of that a lot. The taste and the texture. The texture is a little bit more like doughier versus like the tamale. It's like a little bit more like... I don't know. Mm. Guys, I saw Anneli Choppa doing a fufu video. That was like my like wake up call. Okay, I gotta get it. But he got someone's grandma to make it. And this is from Uber Eats, honey. And it's so crazy because I would look up on my, just like food near me or like just on like on safari or whatever. Like I would just look up like foo foo near me and I'd never, n nothing would ever come up. Mm. And I usually use DoorDash as my food delivery service, but I looked it up on Uber Eats just randomly. I was like, I just want to see. And they had it. Oh my gosh. I'm just obsessed with the fact that it's peanut soup. Like, I love the taste of peanuts. It's so good. Okay, let's see if I can just swallow it. I just need, like, a small piece. I don't, I don't, you're not just supposed to... There's no way you can just swallow it. Like, you kind of just, like... I don't know. I don't know how people do that. Well, there's a piece of chicken in there, so I kind of have to chew it anyways. I'm having flashbacks, but I don't know what... Girl, get out of my face. I'm having flashbacks, but I don't know what to. Just like... Flavor Town, I guess. I think I've officially entered Flavor Town. Guys. Guy Fiori could never. He could never. I think oh, there's a drumstick in here. I'm gonna eat the drumstick. Oh. 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 Mm. I'm sorry, that was gross. I just hit gristle. Oh. That whole chunk is leaving. That whole chunk is disinvited to the party. Mm. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Mm. I don't know how all these other mukbangers are just like so like clean and like I don't know I'm a messy eater I guess it's just it's just who I am I guess I can just kind of squeeze it out like a like a push pop mm, I love me I love me at orange push pop oh, it's such a big piece oh yeah it literally smells like tamales like without the seasoning and stuff. 
I think your hands are supposed to low key be like a little bit wet. Like, are you supposed to like put your hands in water? I feel like I've seen that. Like, like, and then you. Mm. It's very filling. I already feel like. Because I was starving, y'all. I hadn't eaten anything all day. Last night, I barely ate anything. Because I didn't make a video. I just had a cookout tray. Mm. Um, yeah. All day at work from like 4 to like 10. I was just like, I can't wait to go home and eat. And then I sat there and talked to me for a while. Mm. Like two hours. It's midnight now. Shout out to this place to be for being open so late. Like, oh my gosh. There. Keep me around. I'm gonna have another plantain. Oh my gosh, the plantains are so good. What a perfect side. What a perfect side. But another thing that they had that I really want to try from this restaurant is oxtails. I've never had oxtails before. I always hear people like seeing them post on their story like, oh, grandma, ox. it looks so good. But I was like, I'm like, where are y'all getting this? Because like in the city that I used to live in, People would always post it, and I'd always like look it up, and I'd be like, "It must just, it must just be like a food truck, or like someone's family member." Because a lot of families in the city I used to live in would sell like plates, like for Sunday, or like just like. Like, just a little side hustle. Oh. But I never saw people ever advertising the plates. It must just be like a... It's who you know thing. Mm. Okay. The tamarind drink is actually not as good as I thought. It's good. But I was expecting it to be like... The tamarind... I forget the name of the soda, but you know what I'm talking about, the tamarind soda. Mm. No, it's still good. And I didn't shake it up, so that's kind of my fault. Mm. More fufu. Fufu name. I just want to, like, want to roll up in my hand. Sorry, this is probably the worst. But look at it. It's like a little... I want to make like a dumpling. This is like not the way you're supposed to eat it. But I want to like... Whoa. I'm going to make this little dumpling. And I'm going to put some soup in there. Like this. Oh. I'm just going to like... Okay, I'm going to eat it more like a taco. Because I know that dumpling's not going to happen. It's okay, it dripped back into the thing. How am I supposed to use this as a napkin? It was like a landing strip. What am I supposed to do with this? Floss. Floss with this? What? What? Okay, here we go. That's more like it. Mmm, honey. I just want to eat kind of the soup by itself. I kind of wish it had little, like, chunks of peanuts in it. Because I remember having a peanut soup that had, like, actual peanuts in the bottom. It was so good. I just don't... <laughs> that don't feel right. How do I get this off? There we go. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the oxtails to me 
Like, are they actually made out of the tails of an ox? What's going on? Not that, like, that's a, probably a really good part of it, but... I just dropped some of the foo foo in there, so I'm gonna get it out with my spoon. Hmm. I want a little chicken. It's time for a little chicken snack. Hmm. My tummy is rumbling. I think it likes it. I think it likes it. I need to make my family try this. I don't really like it. It's crazy to me though, like, why does it have to be wrapped in the plastic wrap? I don't like that. It's a waste of plastic. Mmm. Rip. Literally the worst waste of plastic wrap is making sushi. The people at my restaurant will pull out like yards and yards of this plastic wrap and like you're supposed to wrap each individual um sushi roll in it to like, get that like super nice shape or whatever like the cleanness or whatever um yeah you're supposed to like wrap it up or whatever and yeah, it's just like so much plastic and to me it's like is it really worth it like using all this plastic to just get like a little bit better of a shape because you can totally do it with like bamboo mats or literally your hands literally your hands like but no it is to save time because it does get really busy I guess but like oh my gosh a real sushi chef wouldn't need that but at the same time maybe the Maybe, I don't know. I don't really know much about, like, the art of making sushi. But I know that, like, when sushi was invented, they didn't have plastic wrap. <gasps> so. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> so, yeah. So, you guys are just being little pansies now, because I know you don't need it. I just want it to be easier. Okay, I think it's my last couple of bites. I'm going to save a little bit for Maeve because I know that she's going to want to try this. So, mm. oh. Yeah, I'm full. <laughs> yeah. This is so good, though. I literally... I bet they don't have anything like that. Mm. Like this where my parents are, but next time they come to visit, we need to go to this restaurant. Maybe they just do to-go's. Cause like, mm. Mm. I don't know why I assumed that. I don't know where that assumption has come out of, but well, baby dolls, mama's done. Mama's had her, mama ate. Ugh, the perfect amount of spice. Like, it didn't make me, like, like, my, when my nose starts dripping into my mouth, ugh. Actually, sometimes it's nice. Because, like, the snot is kind of, like, anti-inflammatory. <laughs> no, it, like, cools your mouth down. But, like, ew. Uh, anyways, baby dolls, I love you guys so much. And I hope you ate something today. I hope you ate something good. Ew, don't like my nails. Let's, do, let's just do this. I hope you ate something good. And if you watch this whole video, comment the word lunatic, lunatic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
uh, yeah. And I love you so much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day or rest of your night. I hope you ate something. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night. Love you. Bye. Bye, you